Hey, this is Presh Talwalkar reminding you to mind your decisions. In a previous video, I presented this problem. The following shape has three right angles. Its side lengths are 4, 3, 4, and 5. The question was to solve for the length of the last side labeled x. Now many people came up with the correct answer, but they used an incorrect proof. This is a channel about learning, so we actually want to show why the incorrect proof is not valid. And to do that, we're going to demonstrate it by varying the problem just a little bit. Imagine that this side length is equal to 3. Now, what is the length of x? I thank Michael Timothy for suggesting this variation. Pause the video if you'd like to give it a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So first let's go over the incorrect way to solve this problem. Many people approached it as follows. Imagine connecting this hypotenuse. This is a right triangle with legs of 3 and 4, so its hypotenuse will be 5. We then draw this vertical distance, and it must be equal to 3. That means we have another 3, 4, 5 right triangle. We then transfer this length of 5, and so the total length of this side will be 5 plus 4, which is equal to 9. So what's wrong with this method? Well, the problem is that this distance here is not actually 3, and I'm going to show you why when we draw this diagram to scale. So let's fix some of these lengths so that it's actually accurate. So when you draw this vertical length at a distance of 3, you'll see it actually doesn't connect to that corner point between 4 and 5. So you can't use that method of 3, 4, 5 right triangles. The method that I suggested is to consider just this shape and looking at the distance from end to end. How can we solve for that? Well, let's rotate this shape just to make it a little bit easier. We'll join the horizontal distances, and then I'll put the vertical distance on the left. We now have a right triangle where one leg is 4 and the other leg is 8. So we can solve for the hypotenuse as the square root of 4 squared plus 8 squared, and that'll be equal to the square root of 80. We can then go back to our original diagram. The distance from end to end will be the square root of 80. If we put this back into our original shape, we now have a right triangle where one leg is 3 and its hypotenuse is the square root of 80. We then have x squared is equal to the square root of 80 squared minus 3 squared, Thus, x squared is equal to 71. This means x is equal to the square root of 71. And that's the correct answer. I hope this video illustrated why the other method was not a correct way to solve this problem, and I hope you learned this correct way to solve the problem. Sometimes geometry problems are trickier than they look. Thanks for watching and for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.